Hey guys, is that what you're looking again? Okay, what we're going to do today is ginger nut. OT cookies. Take your blender, take the lid off, get your OTs, just bang them in, get your lid. Breaded crumbs. Uh, nice. Oaky crumbs. Right. Next, you take your ginger nuts. Ginger nuts. Take your lid. Put that in there. And again. Find the button. Okay. Give it a quick shake. Nuts. So you have your oaties on the bottom, then your ginger nuts, and then we're going to put a layer of chocolate on the top. So you've got your oaties, you've got your ginger nuts. Let me put that over there. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna okay. Right, next get your lazy Susan. Get a to-go container. Chocolate, put it on there. Get your butter and your sugar, put them on there. Give it a couple of minutes. Within three minutes, you should have melted chocolate. Melted butter and sugar. And you can see my spoon 
it's stuck in the chocolate. So I'm gonna wait for it to be melted. It's like quick drying cement. And you forgot to take your boot out. <laughs> Whoops. I was trying to think last night how to melt chocolate without putting boiling water on the stove, making a bain marie, and then melting the chocolate in that. Because uh, I tried that yesterday and it took hours. It just wouldn't melt. So now I thought if I try the lazy Susan that'll work. So I tried it this morning and within three minutes I had melted chocolate. Right. As you see, we got very good melted chocolate. No hot water around, no boiling water, just a, a lazy Susan. grams of chocolate 200 grams of chocolate you want 40 grams of butter 40 grams of sugar yeah 50 mils of water the second one much better than the first
take this one. Pour it over the biscuits. Yeah, just. Pour it Mix it up. Give it a stir. Right. When you put this in the containers, when you put this in the containers, what you want to do is you want to do it in two parts so what you want to do is do the bottom late at night just before you go to bed transfer it to your container leave it in the fridge overnight so it sets yeah Right, so that's that's your ginger nut. Yeah. Right, then your rotis. Same again. Again, mix it up. You know, you don't have to use ginger nuts, you don't have to use oats. You know, you use what your family and you are happy with. Right. What I'm saying to you is do two layers. Right, then what you do is get one two of your chocolate. Yeah. Don't do this with your finger. Yeah. Um I've got a specialist fingers, so I'm saying, I can tell you that chocolate is hot, very hot. Mix that with the chocolate. Right guys, to go container, uh, 
number two. Yeah. Grease proof paper. Put it in there. Number two. Grease proof paper. Uh, where are we? Grease proof paper. Pair of scissors. Cut in from the corner. Uh. Cut in from the corner. All four corners. The edges. Turn it round. Uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. Get you to go. Get you to go container. Get your paper. Put it in. Uh, that will allow you to. Think. Now, the only reason we're doing that is once you've made the cookies you can lift the paper you can lift the paper out just lift the paper out take it off the cookies and you'll have perfect very large cookies right if you use kitchen scissors basically go most of your way in Well, most of the way in. Go the size of the scissors, basically. So if you put that there, you want to go to about there. Because then, when you put it in, it'll sit. Yeah. You can see them. Can you see them? Right. Take your mix. You have to do this quick, otherwise it'll start setting before you uh, thing. If it does, yeah, just go over to your lazy Susan very carefully. Divide your mix into two. Uh, <laughs> can't get hold of it. Then that. Take that one. Make sure you've got clean hands. Then that. Push it down. Then just get you get your old to go container. Yeah. That just pushes it flat a bit. Yeah. Just get your hand in there. Push it flat. Then 
Let me tear me that one. Get your spoon. Spoon again, take half the mix. Now remember this has got chocolate in it, so it's going to be really soft. I've actually done it upside down, but don't worry about it. Give me a minute. I'll be right, because your cookie dough is going to be sticky, you want to get your finger in there. Yeah, just dip it in the water. Yeah, and again, you stick your finger in. Because this is really sticky, so it doesn't stick to your finger. Yeah, if you dump that on there, like that, and another one. Yeah. Remember, this doesn't have to be anything fancy you know just it's just gonna be a layer cake basically a layer biscuit so you're gonna have oats or ginger nuts on the bottom then you're gonna have your oaties with chocolate and then on top of that you're going to have your chocolate on the top of that. Um, so I would actually do it the opposite way to what I've done. Which is I would put the oaties and chocolate on the bottom. Then the ginger nut. Yeah, just get your fingers. I don't think you can see that. Speaking. Yeah, I'll come back to your first one. Get your cloth again. This is where you give the kids the bowl and say, right, 
lick the bowl out <laughs> like we used to when we were kids. Or, Mom, can I have the spoon so I can lick it? <laughs> yeah, that's your dinner. <laughs> that's your tea. If you lick the spoon, you don't get any cookie for tea. Don't want to use your finger. Just wet the back of a spoon. Right. Stick them in the freezer. Well, yeah, freezer or fridge for an hour. And then get your chocolate on. I'll be back in an hour. Right, guys. Next. Next is the yummy part. <coughs> Make sure you've got a cloth. chocolate it's like painting yeah you put a big dab of paint in and then you smooth it out Yeah, all right. Keep your scissors handy. Cause you might have to trim. Yeah, when you when you do the chocolate, you might catch the greaseproof paper, but that's okay. Because if you do, just pull it out. It shouldn't stick anyway, but just pull it out if you do. If you do get a bit of greaseproof paper, don't worry about it. Just uh, break break the cookie and take the paper out like you would on a cupcake. Not a problem. You've got to do this a lot quicker than I'm doing it though. I'm almost blind, so... Uh... Right, guys. Now we stick them and leave them in the fridge overnight. 
Right guys, this is amazing, as you see, because I used, because I used, because I used the grease proof paper, it just comes out of the container. Now, because we cut the paper, if you just pull the corners and the sides you've got yummy 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 to your tummy and it still needs to be in the fridge yeah because it's still soft but as you can see the chocolate is still soft Yeah, it, it still needs to go in the fridge. So, like I say, leave it overnight. Because it is really, really, really... It's going to be... Not only is it going to be sticky, but it's going to be really wet. There you go, guys. And you can cut it into however many pieces you want. Talk to you soon. Watch for my next cookies.